Hello, I am Nurul Athar, PMP CPHIMS and ITIL certified and welcome to CPHIMS exam preparation video. In previous video, I have covered general. Under general, I have covered healthcare environment and technology environment. Under part 2, systems, CPHIMS aspirants are required to study following topics. System analysis, system design, system selection, implementation, support and maintenance, system testing and evaluation, and system privacy and security. In this section, I will I'm going to cover system analysis. Remember, for exam point of view, this chapter is very important. Sixteen number of questions come from this chapter. Okay. We are required to study, define problem or opportunities, conduct need analysis, define requirement, prioritize requirement, analyze current business and clinical process, for example, process mapping, flow diagramming and gap analysis, formulate alternate process and potential solutions, evaluate if proposed solution align with organization strategic and operational plan, Perform cost benefit analy analysis to evaluate impact on issues related to healthcare system, for example, customer satisfaction, patient care quality, economic access, economic access to care, business process improvement. Okay. Doro proposal that include recommended approaches and solution and plan for realizing benefit. Present interpretation and recommendation of data analysis to decision maker, manage project and our resources including assessing resource requirement for example space personal environment and communication and productivity y utilizing project management skills and tools conduct risk assessment facilitating uh, project status and business value assessment facilitating change management controlling scope schedule budget and project maintaining project material and documentation developing implementation strategy Promote and apply problem solving and quality improvement methodologies, analytic analytical tools to optimize system function, organizational change management technique. Understand the role and responsibility of health professional and uh, associated workflow in environment where they work. Analyze future trend in healthcare and technology to anticipate how technology and IT services evolve to meet changing needs. Perform ga gap analysis to evaluate where current system can be enhanced. So let's cover all this topic in detail. Okay. Healthcare problem and opportunity for implement implementation. Okay. Improvement to a healthcare information system emerged from a need for change. Either the existing system does not meet the evolving needs of the program or there is an understanding that emerging technology allow for radically better system. Typically a small group or group or project champion identifies these needs and then tries to mobilize bigger group of stakeholders. In this phase, the pursued gaps and opportunities are documented with a strong focus on describing the describing the desired benefit and the why it may include the development of high level business case that compare the benefit to estimated cost okay. problems with traditional healthcare systems what problem associated Poor quality of health information, redundancy, inconsistent standard for the collection and sharing of information, inability to obtain health information at the time and place where it is needed, the data collected in health records are limited and electronic health record data are never collected, some registers in health are exist only in paper form, what limits quick access to them, inadequate. Pro procedure implementation of information system not related to relevant organizational changes lack of cooperation of information system the, exi the existing solution do not ensure interoperability the lack of cooperation between systems makes management of information impossible and adversely affect the accuracy integrity comparability and completeness of data So far, system has been developed primarily to support the work of administrative unit 
while to a small extent adjusted to need of patient doctors and other users lacked compromised order information and histories for drugs and other substances medical supplies catalogs and lab test results lacked an integrated interoperable electronic health record image and film are coming an associated communication system the result analysis mechanism for ordinary patient process such as lab test and drugs prescription decision support facility in clinical systems prescription error errors systems and electronic monitoring of high care patients especially in intensive care unit icus now let's see the opportunities hospital information system uh, his or patient data management system pdms all these terms refer to integrated information system that are used to manage organization in healthcare sector they are complete solution for managing the medical administrative financial and legal data the overall aim of his is to provide support patient care achieving optimal financial performance and streamline administrations this system include integration of what clinical systems financial system and administrative systems benefit of integrated healthcare systems operational managerial strategic it infrastructure and organizational let's explore operational benefit increase productivity reduce cost improves uh, quality improves data quality improves data sharing flows provides better access to data provides easier exchange of data improves data presentation reduce medical errors and achieve satisfaction now let's see managerial benefit improves managerial control provide more understanding and control of process support decision making improves allocation of resources improves quality of care provided improves work efficiency increase performance achieve returns on investment now see the strategic benefit supports more effective planning increase synchronous asynchronous collaboration among actors actors refer to all human and non human user that interact with healthcare systems improves relationship with supplier improves knowledge sharing improves population health survival rates and quality of life infrastructures reusability of object reduce development risk support the use of electronic healthcare and telemedicine based patient support model achieves non invasive solution achieves process integration provides object component integration provides data integration provides real time integration integrates custom systems integrates package system integrates e business solutions now see the organizational benefits reduce hospitalization reduce waiting time reduce cancelled operations achieves effective clinical and administrative management increases business efficiency supports clinical decision making result in reliable data increase data analysis reduce paperwork process swot analysis one of the top tools and technique used in strategic planning before we learn what is strategic planning we need to understand what is swot analysis is a tools designed to put strength weakness opportunity and threat of business into perspective it provides business a clear view of advantages they have or competitor and their possible vulnerabilities it is mainly used by business to create effective business plan strategy and for comparison with its competitor swot analysis is a precursor to strategic planning okay by using swot analysis swot means strength weakness opportunity and threat okay it is possible to apply strategic thinking towards the implementation of it in healthcare by examining 
the internal and external factor interacting both for and against IT in healthcare. Healthcare providers and supply chain organizations can formulate a strategic IT plan for developing their information resources over the next several years. Okay. By by uncovering reviewing the issues, policymakers can enact changes to make the process of IT implementation easier while simu simultaneously working to change the culture to foster IT benefit for institutions and the patient and other stakeholders. This so okay. In SWOT analysis, strength acts as a leverage point for new strategic initiative, while weakness or limiting factor is specifically applied to IT in healthcare. A strength Strength should indicate areas whether IT or healthcare is particularly strong. For example, the technical skills of IT professional or the quality of existing healthcare information system. Weakness should display areas where either IT or healthcare require improvement and may range from personal issues within IT to limited healthcare application beyond routine transaction processing. The threats an opportunity identified during the external anal analysis should be both factual and attitudinal issues that must be addressed in a strategic plan being formulated and should include both healthcare and IT issues. Okay. A SWOT analysis example. This is how a SWOT analysis looks. Okay. Strength, improved patient safety greater efficiency of operation, current investment in IT, a weakness, lack of system integration, user registration, slow IT adoption, opportunity, the internet, favorable external environment, industry standard, threat, legal, legal compliance, loss of patient trust and cost. Remember this is strength and weakness is internal and opportunity threat is, threat is external. From list of strengths, weakness, or opportunities and threats, organization strategic plan is developed. Okay. For, let's see what is strategic planning. The process of identifying where you want to be and deciding what you must to do get there. There is this must to get there is known as strategic planning and it is important for any organization. Without a clear picture of where you want to be, your path will be rocky. There will be indecisiveness and second guessing and heading off into that direction that you don't want to pursue. Okay. A strategic planning is an organization's process of defining a strategy or, di or direction and making decision on allocating its resources to pursue this strategy. It may also extend to control mechanism for guiding the implementation of the strategy. A strategic planning is long range, usually three to five years. Okay. Mm. The strategic plan is about setting a direction for organization, devising goals and objectives, and identifying a range of strategies to pursue that, uh, pursue so that the organization might achieve its, its goal. The strategic plan is a general guide for the management of organization according to the priorities and goal of stakeholders. The strategic plan does not stipulate the day-to-day -day tasks and activities involved in running the organization. Okay. From organization strategic plan, information technology strategic plan is developed. I'll repeat once again, from information technology strategic plan, operation plan is developed. This image shows the content of IT strategic plan may have. Okay. Information technology strategic plan may have. Okay. Summary, introduction, the hospital, vision, mission and goal of the hospital, hospital characteristic, organizational structure. Okay. Information management. Organization of Information Management, Goal, Principle and Standard of for Information Processing, the current state of hospital information system, hospital function and information need, information need 
processing tools, communication infrastructure, assessment, progress made, weak point and call for action, the target issues of hot hospital information system, migration concept, overview, okay, task time, task time and cost planning. A strategic plan usually three to five years. This is this image show a strategic plan. Okay, uh, it's a three year strategic plan. From this three years, operational plan is created. Okay, operational plan for each year. Okay, based on SWOT analysis finding, it is decided to build or by integrated healthcare information system. Healthcare information system shall be able to communicate using HL7 standard. Okay. In terms of improving patient care and safety, health information integration aims to accomplish the following. Collect and analyze patient care and safety information so that we can learn what we need to improve. Implement collective action. Share collected data among organizations so that we can learn from each other okay at remember at the start of any major IT project the project management team should create a project charter or terms of reference document that summarize what project will accomplish and where they will implement it Let's see what is project charter. A project charter is a short document that lists the scope, objective, deliverable, stakeholders of project and delineate roles and responsibility of each member of the project. A project charter is a summary project proposal to secure approval for the project goal and terms. Project charter, remember project charter is part of initiation phase. The project charter is a summary document of, of usually one page length containing the following information reason for un undertaking the project, direction concerning the solution, project budget and other constraints, structure of project, list of stakeholders including team members and customer, project structure and key role of all the team members, list of key deliverable deadlines, risk issues and assumptions. Upon project charter approval, a project plan is developed. Okay. Project management. Let us see what is the difference between project management plan and project plan. Okay. A project management plan is a formal approved document that guides you precisely how to how you are going to proceed for proceed for example how will the project work be carried out how will the scope be managed how will you monitor and control the various project activities how will you how will you deliver the product and close the project okay. Okay. please study pin PM box six addition to understand project management concept. Under PM box six addition, there are five process group and ten knowledge areas. Okay, let's explore. Okay, is process group initiating, planning, executing, monitoring, and controlling and closing. It's mean. Uh, a pro any project goes through five phase initiation planning executing monitoring and controlling and closing and knowledge areas integration management scope management is schedule management cost management quality management resource management communication management risk management procurement management and stakeholder management under initiation phase Project charter is created and I I stakeholders are identified. Let's see what's happened under planning. 
project management plan is created and there is scope management is scope management is plan requirement is collected the scope is defined and work breakdown is structured is created let's see schedule management under planning okay a schedule management is plan define activity sequ sequence activities estimate activities duration and develop project is sketch let's see cost management under planning plan cost management estimate cost and determine cost let's see quality management under planning plan quality management plan resource plan quality management okay and now let's see resource management under planning plan resource management estimate activity resource let's see communication management under planning okay plan communication management now see uh, risk management under planning plan risk management identify risk perform qualitative risk analysis perform quantitative risk analysis plan risk response now let's see procurement management under planning plan procurement management and now let's see stakeholder management under planning plan is plan stakeholder now let's see what knowledge areas are involved in executing phase okay under integration management direct and manage project work okay manage project knowledge okay and the quality management manage quality under resource management acquire resource develop team and management manage team under communication management under execution knowledge area manage communication okay under risk management under execution implement risk response and procurement manage procurement management under execution is conduct procurement and stakeholder management manage stakeholder engagement now let's see monitoring and controlling process group under various knowledge areas under integration management monitor and control project work perform integrated change control under scope management validate scope and control scope under schedule management control schedule cost management control cost under quality management control quality under resource management control resources under communication management monitor communications okay under risk management monitor risk and procurement management control procurement under stakeholder management monitor stakeholder engagement under closing process group okay under integration management knowledge area close project or phase okay now let's go back. Hmm. now we'll see what is a project plan a project plan provides detailed instruction on how to execute manage and control the project the project plan takes its objective from the project charter and the scope statement okay A project plan provides detailed instruction on how to execute, manage, and control the project. Project plan is part of planning. Okay, remember, project plan, project plan is part of planning. Project planning. The project plan is an approved document showing how to achieve such approved project goal and provides detail to execute approved framework. Is deal with the value proposition addressed by the project, the responsibilities of people involved in the project organizational structure the nature of work and effort required to meet the deliverable the phases activities and tasks required to meet deliverable identification of work breakdown structure 
allocation of resources required to meet deliverable project timelines and milestones documentation of project interdependencies okay. system development life cycle system development life cycle SDLC transform a newly developed project plan into an operational one okay the system development life cycle SDLC for short is a multi-step iterative process structure in a methodic methodical way traditionally the system development life cycle consisted of five stages that has now increased to seven phases the increasing number of steps help system analysts to define clear action to achieve a specific goal Now let's see SDLC stages. Planning, system analysis and requirement, system design, development, integration and testing, implementation, operation and maintenance. In this section we will cover, in this section we will explore planning and system analysis system analysis requirement okay uh, before I move forward let's see SDLC methodologies other okay there is agile lean waterfall iterative spiral and day ops DEV OPS okay these are the various SDLC methodologies Now let's explore planning. Okay. This is the first phase in system development process. It identifies whether or not there is need for a new system to achieve a business strategic objective. Okay. This is preliminary plan or a feasibility study for a company's business initiative to acquire the resource to build an infrastructure. To modify or improve a service, the company might be trying to meet or exceed expectations for their employees, customer, and stakeholder too. The purpose of this step is to find out the scope of the problem and determine solution, resource, resources, cost, times, benefits, and other items should be con considered at this stage. Feasibility analysis. Okay. Technical feasibility, economic feasibility, and operational feasibility. Okay. In technical feasibility, the following issues are taken into consideration whether the required technology is available or not, whether the required resources are available, like manpower, programmer, tester, and debugger, software, and hardware. economic feasibility and economic feasibility the most uh, important is cost benefit analysis as the name suggests it is an analysis of cost to be incurred in the system and benefit derived derivable out of the system okay. cost cost benefit analysis in broad sense the okay in the broad sense the cost can be divided into two types development cost and operational cost development cost that are incurred during development of the system are one time investment wages like for example wages and equipment operation cost for example wages supplies and overhead okay this picture so how cost benefit analysis is done okay this is okay this is the year, first year, second year, third year, fourth year, and fifth year. This is the cost related to hardware, software, personal maintenance, cost at year in, and community cost. Okay. Now we'll see the benefit f for the proposed system year wise. Okay. Okay. So this is the community cost. Th in thousands, one hundred fifty thousands. 
and this this is the cumulative benefit 300,000 in five years so profit how we'll calculate profit profit is equal to benefit minus cost okay so this is 300,000 is benefit from here we got this point and this is the cost 150,000 so what is the profit 146,000 is profit since we are gaining this is this system is feasible means we will go ahead with this system as there are various analysis method available some of them are following net present uh, present value analysis payback analysis net present value net benefit analysis cash flows analysis and break and break even analysis now we'll see the operational benefit Oper sorry operational feasibility operational feasibility is mainly concerned with issues like whether the system will be used if it's developed and implemented whether there will be resistance from user that will affect the possible application benefits okay the is essential question that help in testing the operational feasibility of a systems are following does management support the project are the user not happy with the current business practice will it reduce the time operational considerably if yes then they will welcome the change and the new system have the user been involved in planning and development of the project early involvement reduce the probability of resistance toward the new system will the proposed system really benefit the organization does the overall response increase will accessibility of the information be last will the system affect the customer in considerable way Now let's see the system analysis requirement. Okay. The second phase is where business will work for the source of their problem or the need for, ch for a change. In event of problem, possible solutions are submitted and analyzed to identify the best fit for the ultimate goals of the project. This is where terms consider the functional requirement of the project or solution. It is also where system analysis takes place or analyzing the needs of the end user to ensure the new system can meet their expectation. System analysis is vital in determining whether the business uh, businesses needs are okay sorry. System analysis is vital in determining what business needs are as well as how they can be met, who will be responsible for individual piece of the project and what sort of timeline should be expected. Okay. Requirement analysis done in order to understand the problem for which the software system is to solve. For example, the problem could be automating an existing manual process or developing a completely new automated system or a combination of the two. The emphasis in requirement is ad on identifying what is needed from the system, not how the system will achieve its goal. The task is complicated by the fact that there are often at least two parties involved in software development, a client and a developer. The developer usually does not understand the client's problem domain and the client does not understand the issues involved in software system. This causes a communication gap. This has to be adequately bridged during requirement analysis. Okay. There are two major activities in this phase. problem understanding or analysis and requirement specification let's explore problem understanding or analysis in problem analysis the analyst has to understand the problem and its context such analysis typically require it through understanding the existing system the part of which must be automated Capture in problem statement, define the problem, identify where the problem is occurring, describe the size of the problem, describe the impact of the problem on the organization.
and the requirement is specification. Once the problem is analyzed and the essential understood, the requirements must be specified in requirement specification document. Okay. The goal of the requirement specification phase is to produce software requirement specification document. Okay. Software requirement specification SRS is a document that completely describes what proposed applications should do without describing how system will do it. The basic goal of requirement phase is to produce a software requirement specification which describes the complete external behavior of the proposed software. The person responsible for requirement analysis is often called analyst. Okay. The requirement document must specify all functional and performance requirements, the formats of input, output, and any required standard and all design constant that exists due to political, economic, environmental and security reason. Okay. Let's see what is the difference between functional and non-functional requirement. Okay. Functional requirement describe a system service or function how the system should react on particular inputs and how the system should behave in certain situation. The following generic tasks are identified for a system that should support the daily task of staff in primary healthcare clinic. Registration of patients demographical data, recording of medical intervention, for example, consultation details, result of a special investigation, condition, diagnosis, treatment, etc. Capturing and processing of a statistical indicator and stock control. This comes under functional requirement. Now let's see non-functional requirement. Non-functional requirement defines system properties and constraints. Example of system properties are reliability, response time, store and occupancy capabilities of the hardware devices attached to the system or system constraint. For requirement specification in form of documents, some specification language has to be selected. Okay. Is what is a specification language? A specification language is a formal language in computer science used during system analysis, requirement analysis, and system design to describe a system at much higher level than a programming language, which is used to produce the executable code for system. Mm. Ways of writing system requirement specification. Note some uh, natural language. The requirement were written okay na under uh, natural language. The requirement are written using numbered sentence in natural language. Each sentence should express one requirement. A structured natural language. The requirement are written in natural language on a standard form or template. Each field provide information about an aspect of requirement. Design description language. This approach uses a language like programming language but with more abstract feature to specify the requirement by defining an operational model of the system. This approach is now rarely used although it can be useful for interface specification. Graphical notation. Graphical model suppl suppl uh, supplemented by test annotations are used to define the functional requirement for the system. UML, use case and sequence diagram are commonly used. Mathematic mathematical specification. These notations are based on mathematical concepts such as finite state, machines or sets, machine or sets. Although this unambiguous specification can reduce uh, the ambiguity in requirement document, most customers don't understand a formal specification. They cannot check that if it represents what they want and are reluctant to accept it as a system contract. Now let's see tools and techniques to gather better software requirement. Okay. 
case computer aided system engineering computer aided software engineering Techn okay case technologies are tools that provide automated assistance for software development a goal of introducing case tool is the reduction of the time and cost of software development and the enhancement of quality of the system developed Okay. Let's see. There are two types of uh, okay, case, upper case and lower case. Upper case tools to support the early process activities of requirement and design and lower case tools to support later activities such as programming, debugging and testing. Mm -hmm. Now let's see the requirement gathering tools. It can be uh, brainstorming, document analysis, focus group, interface analysis, interview, observation, prototyping, requirement workshop, reverse engineering and survey. And structure analysis. Okay, structure analysis and structure design are method for analyzing business requirement and developing a specification for converting practice into computer program, hardware configuration, and related manual procedure. A structure analysis and design technique are fundamental tools of system analysis. Okay, a structure pro programming leads to structure design, which which in turn lead to structured system analysis. These techniques were ca characterized by their use of diagrams, structure chart for structure design, and data flow diagram for structure analysis, both okay, both to add in communication between users and developer and to improve the analyst and the designer's discipline. Okay. Let's see. what is contest diagram? Contest diagrams are diagram that represent the actor outside a system that could interact with that system. This diagram is highlighted uh, is highest level view of system, similar to block diagram, showing a showing a possibly software based system as a whole and its input and output from to external factor. Okay, this picture represents uh, contest diagram. data dictionary data dictionary or a database dictionary is a file that define the basic organization of a database a database dictionary contain a list of all the files in database the number of record in each file and the name and the type of each data field okay this picture shows data dictionary okay and its relationship with er diagram data flow diagram data flow diagram also known as dft or, di or directed graph the ox represent data and the nodes circle or bubble represent process that transform the data okay this picture show data flow diagram example okay circle or bubble represent the okay represent the processes that transform the data arc represent these are arc represent data and nodes strict okay structure chart a structure chart is a chart that shows a breakdown of configuration system to the lowest manageable level the chart is used in a structure programming to arrange the program module in tree structure each module is represented by a box which contain the name of the module the tree structure visualize the relationship between the module okay. Okay. this picture represent a structure chart now let's move to the next a structure design a structure design is concerned with the development of module and syn synthesis of this module is in a so-called module hierarchy in order to design optimal module structure and interface two principles are crucial cohesion okay in order to design optimal mo module structure and interface two principles are crucial cohesion 
which is concerned with the grouping of functionality related uh, functionality related process into a particular module and coupling related to the flow of information or parameter pass between module optimal coupling reduces the interface of modules and resulting complexity of the software a structure query language the structured query language sql is a standardized language for query information from a database SQL was first introduced as a commercial database system in 1979 and has since been the favorite query language for database management system running on microcomputer and mainframe. Now let's go to the next point. The healthcare industry is under pressure to improve patient safety, operate more efficiently, reduce medical error, and provide secure access to timely information while controlling cost, protecting pa patient privacy, and complying with legal guidelines. Some problem solving strategies uh, are used in healthcare. Kaizen, Six Sigma, and Lean. Kaizen is a Japanese word. Kai Kaizen, okay. Kaizen, also known as continuous improvement, is a long term approach to work. Let me close and then. Problem and solving strategy Kaizen, Six Sigma, and Lean. What is Kaizen? Also known as continuous improvement, is a long term approach to work that systematically assists to achieve a small incremental change in process in order to improve efficiency and quality. Okay. What is Kaizen philosophy? Employ lead continuous improvement. Five steps. Specify value, map and improve the value stream, flow, pull, perfection. Even if it is not broken, it can be improved. Okay. How, how do I do Kaizen? Identify a process need improvement, measure the process, find a cycle time and amount of in process inventory, assess measurement against requirement, determine how to meet the requirement and increase productivity, implement, standardize the new improved process, continue improvement and sustain gain. Now let's six sigma. Increase patient satis satisfaction and reduce error by improving your process. DMAC Refer to data driven quality strategy for improving process and its and is an integral part of the company Six Sigma Quality Initiative. Okay. DMAC is a five step five step method for improving existing process problem with unknown cause okay d in dmac d stand for define define the problem m stand for measure def quantify the problem a stand for analyze ident identify the cause of the problem improve okay implement and verify the solution and c maintain the solution Lean. Elimin eliminate non value added activities and waste save time and money. Okay. This diagram represents what is lean and six sigma. Lean remove waste, increase the speed, remove non value non value added process steps, fix connection between process steps, focus on the customer, 
Six Sigma, reduce variation, improve quality, reduce variant at least remaining steps, optimize remaining process steps, focus on customer. Okay, that brings us to end of my presentation. Thank you for watching and I hope you found it helpful in preparation for the CPHIM, CPHIMS exam.